So you have worked really hard to build your costume. Got it all looking just right. You suit up and you're off to your event. One problem. Last thing you want is to show up in your creature look and it's a showstopper for all of the wrong reasons. Everyone's focusing on that one detail you didn't do. There's going to be plenty of characters that you're going to create that, well, they're just not going to be able to rock the Robert Smith look. We're going to create two types of feet. A realistic human foot, great for zombies or Vecna, and a more fantasy style foot. First, let's talk about shoes. You can use any type of shoe that's going to work for you. If you want a bigger style foot for a character, you may want to build it on a boot. The shoes we're going to use today are thin material. So whatever you build on top of them, it's going to give you more of a realistic foot illusion. I'm going to pad these with some newsprint so they keep their shape. Grab some latex and cotton. Creating basic shapes with the cotton and latex for each toe. They can look pretty rough right now. You can always add more layers. You'll want to let this dry. You can also use spray adhesive. This step is not required, but I did find that the cotton and latex will slip around a little bit as you work. Doing this step will stop that. Once the toes have dried, it's time to build the shapes of the foot. This is a more realistic foot, so we're gonna keep it subtle versus the ogre foot. And you're just gonna build this up for whatever your needs. You just wanna know, if you build the material too far back, it's gonna limit the flexibility of the shoe, and it might make it a little awkward to walk. You're really gonna wanna keep that material outside of the arch area. This way, your monster feet won't interrupt your dance moves. Cotton is a quick way to build shapes, but it's definitely not the smoothest. To help soften the texture, we're going to go in with some tissue and latex. You can use toilet paper too. Just want to choose one that doesn't have a bunch of texture all over it. Also using this to better blend those edges from the cotton into the shoe. Want the Vecna foot to echo the textures that we did in the suit. So I'm going to put a latex nerdy over top, adhering it with some prosaic. If you're unfamiliar on how to make latex nerdians, be sure to check out the video in the description. Now the toenails. We're going to do this in two different methods. The first one is going to be more realistic. You're going to want to grab some plain press-on nails, trim them, and glue them down with some prosade. I do recommend using glue over just using more latex, because once it's dry, you'll be able to pop those nails right off. The surface is just too smooth for the latex to grab onto. Also go in and add some glue around the cuticle. This serves two purposes. Add some more reinforcement, and it starts to build that area up so it looks more like it's growing out of the toe and not just stuck on top. I'm gonna add some latex over that nerny and blend it into the foot. Now the second nail method. Using good old foam clay for these. Did sculpt a little texture in them. Now everything's dry, let's get the painted. No matter your base color, if you are using acrylic paint, you're going to want to do a 50-50 mix with Prazade. This is gonna help the paint to stick to the latex and not crack when you go to flex it. I am not worried about avoiding the nails. We'll deal with that later. Just going through the same acrylic colors and texture methods that we used on the suit. If you haven't seen the tutorial for making the Vecna suit, it's down in the description. Okay, so now I'm done painting and the nails don't look so great. So you're gonna take a brush and some alcohol and carefully clean those nails off. That's gonna bring back the shine of that plastic. Added a little dark brown around them and painted some going into the nail. That's just gonna make them look a little more dirty and gross. Now with the ogre foot, do that 50-50 prosade paint mixture. I layered two different greens and started painting textures with Skin Illustrator using lime daiquiri and emerald green. Airbrushed some Skin Illustrator bonsai green and highlighting it with the koi yellow for a little pop. If you do not have alcohol colors like Skin Illustrator, no problem. You can continue painting with the 50-50 cut of the prosade and acrylic paint. Or after you put the 50-50 mixture as your base color, you can go ahead and use your acrylic craft paints. Once you're finished, apply a layer of the glue over top of everything and then powder to get rid of any stickiness. Did some more shading with a dark brown and using more of that Illustrator grunge palette to paint up those nails. The highlight and shadows are really going to bring them to life. Since it's a fantasy look, I thought it'd be fun to take the Nova palette and the Peridot green color and do an overspray, and that's going to give it a cool shiny metallic finish. Well, now that you have your feet for your character, what about your creature hands? If you want to see how to make a monster glove, and also using techniques that I did not use while making the Vecna hand, be sure to check out the next video, and I'll see you over there.